Pisces, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Antonio, back with another channel tarot card message for you today. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel so that we can continue to grow and so that I can keep putting out these beautiful channel tarot card messages for you today. Let's get into it. We're using the Gold Universal Tarot to see what spirit has to say. All right. After this reading, why not check your Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node placement readings as well to get a better understanding of what's going on with you at this time. But we're going to see what Spirit has to say. The energy is currently around you, what's coming towards you. Any information you may want on me could possibly be found down in the description box below. You just have to check. <laughs> but let's get into it, Pisces. Let's see what the message is for you today. Okay. Interesting enough, I'm out in the sun. The sun is out and about and then we have strong fire sign energy we see the sun shining down on the fool this could be someone on some sort of an adventure or taking a leap of faith right faith and confidence yeah a lot of confidence with the black and yellow mm -hmm. all right let's get into it one more shuffle so your first jumper is, is aries uh, in the fool card could be taking life light at this moment very carefree could be dealing with um, entrepreneurship or some sort of um, now this is a very enchanting individual so yeah a lot of very magical here could be dealing with a content creator right which is magical right that whole thing uh, that whole creative process could be very magical someone could be um, exhibiting a lot of sexual energy right uh, a lot of your creativity is exhibited from your sacral chakra right the hermit introspection grounded energy taking your health serious mm -hmm. paying very close attention to details here some sort of a highlight because the sun is shining down on this individual and the hermit is showing up with the lantern someone has a lot to say this could be a motivational speaker oh this could be like a private coach or a tutor for a child here mm. we have charity here and the wish for um okay yeah wish fulfillment but wheel of fortune Sagittarian energy. Yeah, someone wise. Yeah, we could be dealing with a tutor or a private teacher here. Or a private school. We have the king of pinnacles. A business owner. An entrepreneur, right? Taurian energy. Someone that works very hard. They're very stable. Very down to earth. Could be a cook. Could be mm, a daycare. Like a daddy daycare or something like that. Mm -hmm. Ace of Wands. Creativity. Brilliance, right? Could symbolize a male phallus, could symbolize a paintbrush or anything like that, a microphone. So we could be dealing with a motivational speaker or this could be like stern teaching or something like that, like a male teacher. Yeah, stepfather energy here. Mm -hmm. uh, King of Cups energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, very nurturing, however. Mm -hmm. If you're not dealing with a teacher or a chef or some sort of a real estate uh, salesman or something like that, could be literally be dealing with some sort of an artist yeah the devil card obsession mm -hmm. they channel their pain into art or creativity capricorn energy right a strong salesman a strong leader supervisor content creator possibly an entrepreneur or a business owner yeah it's almost like um they're not like a loan shark or anything like that though now, they could be very attractive, which is why they get a lot of good business and why a lot of people are attracted to them here. What's the karmic vibes, though? This could be breaking some sort of a karmic cycle here. Yeah, again, fathers in the home, even stepfathers in the home. Tutors and that sort of thing. Instead of leaving children to their own devices and letting them, being, letting them be raised by video games, right? The Wheel of Fortune. Three of Wands, getting them out in nature here. Now, two years ago, and I couldn't even have thought of this myself, um, when I started going through my spiritual awake awakening and I was brainstorming, I was literally talking about how there needs to be, um, you know, we've been in classrooms for I don't know how many decades now. Um, and I was saying that there needs to be some sort of a new teacher. I don't know if they want a whole class on Instagram or social media or something like that, but we need to start having class outside. And now here I am. Um, an intuitive tarot reader and whether this is class or not most of my videos and I started to gain most um, traction uh, from me being outside in nature and channeling right might as well bring my desk outside and set it up under the tree but the king of Pentacles could be seen as a very natural individual this is all about the tangibles of life 
the earth angel out in nature mm -hmm. a therapist right what is very therapeutic nature right especially again i talk about the last two years last three years we've been cooped up in the house because of the pandemic what will be healing right vitamin d from the sun getting your natural nutrients breathing fresh air right the closer you are to a tree when we talk about tree huggers we do know that trees transmute carbon monoxide and dioxide into better oxygen for you right so the closer you are to nature it gives you more of a clear uh, channel state of mind mm -hmm. getting swimming as well from the king of pinnacles fishermen or something like that could be teaching kids a swimming again this could be like boy scouts or something like that getting back out into nature could be dealing with a doctor a therapist or something like that we have the nine of swords yeah this is fear or mental frustration yeah this is could be dealing with some sort of a therapist sleeplessness here we have the five of cups at least if children are not getting fatherly advice or have some sort of a male figure outside of their home, at least whatever part, uh, whatever act activities their parents put them in, right? A dad or a father or a male figure at whatever day camp they attend or simply here subscribing to my YouTube channel, right? Most terror readers or most, most empaths or intuitives are women. But we know that in the Bible it says men love your women men are the overseers of their village right they show the most love right they have to we have the two of cups friendship someone wanting to share a cup with you possibly love mm -hmm. yeah this is like stern leadership mm -hmm. again this is um what is it this is like not necessarily harsh or cruel but um this could be like one-on-one -on -one guidance this is um mm, i know it sounds weird because some some parents would be like oh i'm not i'm not your friend i'm your child but this is how we connect with our children right even think back on your childhood how uh you connect with your parents the whole reason we was able to have a black president obama was because uh black people that were in the hood they were putting out very artistic music right the prophets of their time and then who's buying the music? All the kids in the suburbs, right? And they're blasting Walk This Way or they're blasting whatever hip hop music, um, you know, crossing over through genres. And this is all, you know, they, they, they were listening to. This is where we get the Eminem's from. This is where we get the Macklemore's from. This is where we get the, what's, what's the, the, the Jack Harlow. This is where we get all this stuff at. So they growing up hearing these sort of things and their parents are forced to hear it, right? Because your parents only go to work <laughs> because they want to, have their children's lives better than they were so they put up with it johnny turned down that music <laughs> right <laughs> turn that racket down but again what they won't tell you is the reason why they get up seven eight in the morning and to go to their nine to five job is so that they could take their children out on vacations to disney world and whatever the case may be saturday morning is movie morning right matinee you and your friends yeah king of wands a leader very strong masculine or it could be a feminine strong fire sign energy mm -hmm. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is create. This is uh, creativity, passion, desires, strong content creation as well. Someone could be teaching a class on content creation. I was getting Roberto Blake in one of my readings, uh, maybe about a week ago. Right? These are strong masculines and positive people. Uh, I can keep name dropping, but uh, strong uh, males, right? If you don't see it in your real life, at least you can log on to social media. On my professional Facebook page, I don't have women on my professional Facebook page. Obviously, you can tell why if you're living in 2022. They do some of the most egregious and most unattractive and distracting things. Not all women, but there's a certain time and place for anything, for men to congregate, men to... Um, um, big up each other, right? Men to uh, celebrate in men's circles. Last message, Seven of Swords. This is releasing doubt and negativity. Mm -hmm. This could be a finesse. Mm -hmm. This is teaching. Mm -hmm. I'm getting homework, right? <laughs> yeah. On top of the Earth Angel Temperance, Sagittarius, that's wisdom, and King of Wands. I'm sorry, the King of Pentacles. Strong earthly boundaries, right? Again, that's homework. Giving people something to feast on even after the fact, right? I talked about, um, what was it, the, the last uh, reading I did, Aquarius, when I talked about 3,000 years of longing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, We have the genie in the lamp here, <laughs> in the pentacle, the actual genie or the earth angel. And then this is, right, clarity. 
could be finessing as well but it's trying to get to the bottom of something hidden it could either be a strategy or finesse here right learning or being left behind what do we have here oh yeah good positive reading here the sagittarius the earth angel comes in to usurp this negative or karmic energy that's in this situation here with the devil mm -hmm. capricorn yeah someone realizing their potential right working on their grounding going on some sort of an adventure here we have aries and the fool right childlike state of wonder but yet being an adult grounding right mm -hmm. kids able to teach adults something and adults being able to guide uh youngsters yeah four major arcana grounding the reading here queen of wands yeah king of wands yeah we have a divine flame or a twin flame union doesn't necessarily have to be romantic but the king of queen of wands come on that's sexual <laughs> Uh, whether it's an athlete, uh, some sort of a professional uh, gym rat, right? Uh, someone with a lot of physical focus here. We even have the Ace of Wands. So Sex Passions, 11-11, Twin Flame Union. Mm -hmm. Yep, we have the Wheel of Fortune here, Orgasms. This could be Sex Ed. Mm -hmm. Teaching men how to value themselves. Teaching women how to value themselves. Teaching boys and girls how to value themselves and look forward to their future. Yep. King of Pentacles, the King of Cups. Very grounded, very down to earth. I was getting some sort of a private school type energy. Nonetheless, whatever the case may be, this could be private social media accounts, um, Patreons, and um, what's the other? OnlyFans and that sort of thing. Maybe teaching a course. Yeah, teaching a course here. Mm -hmm. Hands on learning, friendship, definitely love. A lot of stories showing up in this reading here. But that is what I have for you here today, Pisces. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel. Very interesting reading. Uh, that was a lot of channeling, right? Um, <laughs> interesting message. But catch you guys on the next one. Hopefully you enjoyed the reading. Welcome to Libra season. Happy birthday to all the Libras. Maybe you have it somewhere in your birth chart. <laughs> catch you on the next one. Spiritual expansion. Peace.